Let's finish our discussion of Regina versus Cunningham. There was a third part of the jury instruction, which the appeals judges did not approve. Malicious for this purpose means something which he has no business to do and perfectly well knows it. And it goes on. Malicious for this purpose means wicked. The appellate court flatly rejects this approach. It wrote, the word maliciously in a statutory crime postulates foresight of consequence. There was no question in the appellate court's mind that Cunningham acted wickedly in stealing the gas meter, but that should not distract the jury from the issue whether he had been reckless of the consequent dangers of escaping gas. The trial court instructed the jury that it was obvious that Cunningham must have known, only a rare idiot wouldn't have. But whether Cunningham was a rare idiot or not, on the occasion, should have been left to the jury to decide. We often refer to these English cases as common law cases, even though many of them are not common law at all, but statutory. We are forced to do this in a way because so much of the terminology originated in opinions of the Crown's courts over the course of many centuries. As a result, we initially confront a jumble of verbiage, a conceptual and terminological mare's nest. Judges had to locate the statutory term malice by relating it to other terminology they used. The term malice connotes malignant, and in ordinary use, that in turn conjures up an image of the wicked actor. The Cunningham opinion points us to a different meaning. Malice means reckless as to consequences. That is nice to know, but how did the court decide that? And how are all the other terms shown above related? We are very fortunate to be able to look to a modern comprehensive framework for answers. It contains our most advanced terminology in a magical and revolutionary device at an unbelievable price. It is the model penal code. In 1962, the American Law Institute approved the final draft of a criminal law code. The Institute was and is a private organization of lawyers, judges, and legal academics dedicated to improving the quality of justice. It has no authority on its own except the power to persuade state legislatures to adopt the code's provisions and the power to persuade courts to interpret statutes according to, to the code's general part. You will be relieved to know that we will cover only a small part of the model penal code in this class. That small part will consist almost exclusively of material in the so-called general part, which contains the general provisions that are intended to guide the interpretation of all the specific crimes in the so-called special part of the code and whatever other crimes a legislature decides to create. The code's general part is also meant to guide the interpretation of criminal statutes already on the books, and yet to be enacted laws whether or not included in the code's own special part. As things have worked out in the nearly six decades since the Model Penal Code was published, the general part has been by far the more influential. Even so, many states have deliberately rejected most, if not all, of the MPC's proposed language. On the other hand, many states have either adopted certain sections verbatim or have used them as a template for their own efforts. As we proceed, we will frequently compare the model code with non-model penal code provisions. As to culpability, the approach taken by the model penal code drafters was both simple and bold. Except as otherwise provided, a person is not guilty of an offense unless he acted purposely, 
knowingly, recklessly, or negligently. Purposely, knowingly, recklessly, or negligently. The default setting, so to speak, is the traditional doctrine of mens rea, or culpability. Notice, though, that there are only four concepts used to capture the culpability requirement. This was not an oversight. The common law was an accumulation of centuries of colorful language introduced at various times by a variety of judges in the context of particular cases. The result was a word salad well past its best enjoyed by date. The model penal code took a weed whacker to all this verbiage and kept only the four concepts, purpose, knowledge, recklessness, and negligence. These four central ideas comprising the concept of culpability, we will need to examine them in detail. Thank you.